I think the next main mission I'm finally getting a broom. I just want to fly, bro. It only took me like eight hours to reach this part of the story. No more running. Oh shit. Look, they even prepared the the flying course. Can I sleep in the common room? Is that a thing? It's nighttime. Let's see. Dang, no one's here. Everyone's sleeping. It's so empty. Oh wait, it's this way. Can I sleep in my room? I don't even know which one is my room. That's not it. That should be the one with the owl. Oh, I can't find it. There's no indicator. Is it this one? Oh my god. There's a chest here though. Oh, it's locked. Wait, where is my room? There's so many. Oh, my God. is it this one? It's this one. What? Bro. It's this one. Oh, it's this one. Have any mail? Nope. Nothing new. Can I sleep on my bed? Oh, it doesn't allow you. That kind of sucks. Oh. Oh, no. Gotta wait. Got mail. Helen Thistlewood. Greetings. I am happy to report that my sister Helen survived the sudden attack in Azkaban. Yo, what up, classmates? Give me that apple. I don't think they like me, bro. Hello. Why is it always silent when I enter the room? <laughs> Look at this. No one's talking. Oh, that's good. Sweet, oh, there we go. I'm sure of it. Every time he's around me, he's crooning at me. And my mother, she's doing it deliberately. Whoops. It's because I left my room in a mess. I can't talk to him. Sipping tea. Oh, what is this? Tickle the pear. Oh, what? Revelio. What the? If one tickles a pear in this still life painting of a bulb of fruit, it will giggle before turning into a doorknob to allow entry to Hogwarts kitchens. Oh, Hogsmeade what? owes you a great debt. Well done, taking down a fully grown troll. You're welcome. Oh, I have to hold it. This leads to the kitchen. What? Oh, that's sick. I haven't been here yet. Here's a welcome treat. Delicious. Oh, you can eat. What? Oops. Rebellion. Is there anything here? Here's a chest. Look at all these plates. E oh, I thought it'd be more satisfying. Oh, there's another chest. Nice. Revelio. What's this? It is magically transferred to the tables in the great hall directly above. Oh, so that's how it works. It's above the kitchen. That's cool. I didn't know that. Dang, look how big these chickens are. What? Yo, what? 
That's nasty. He's just stomping on the meat. That's sick. Like turkey or chicken? Oh, I almost missed this. Look at these pumpkins. I got sidetracked. What was I doing again? <laughs> Flying class. Okay, let's go. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. Calm down, bro. What happened? I'm guessing he pissed him off. Nah. Repair him. I can't repair him. I'm getting closer. Oh my god. Here we go. Alright, where's my broom? broom? And we shall get started. Ooh. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. What up? Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely. As broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. I'm lagging. Up, up. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. Okay, let's go. And if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. How do I fly? Oh my god. Now, Wait. for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Okay. Do take care. The brooms are school property. Ah, oh I will my. not be turned in I one think I'm piece. getting the hang of this. This is so cool. Why is it so slow though? How do I go faster? Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. What a view! <laughs> Hello! Hello Are you there! Ready for a it sure is, mate. It's so relaxing. Made it! Oh, did anyone else see that? Oh, this is easy. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the oh. first year. Oh. Right. Dip down. Our oh shoot. Resident likes to make oh, it's inverted. In <laughs> oh. No one saw that. Can I... Why is it inverted? Wait, is it inverted? What's that? That wasn't too bad. Oh, well done! Have a moment! I say! 
day I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in Clopton. suspecting that a Hufflepuff like you might be interested in some high-flying fun? Let's do it. <sighs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Where are we going? The tour is about to begin. Follow closely oh. now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely as ever. Oh my. This is going to take a while to get used to. Having tea by the window today. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ahead of the gardens, the Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. How is ever flying so quickly? Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. <laughs> oh. Now that's more like it. You sure you go not fast. Here, Griff? <laughs> There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. And the owlery. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. This is so cool. Hey, okay, where do you go? Whee. Oh, is that a hippogriff? That's Kagawa's whistle. This oh. concludes our tour. Who's the whistle? Why is it so fast? <laughs> Holy Professor, we were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. What? Mr. Clock. I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're still because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But Professor Enough. Class is finished for the day. As for you. You do well to use better judgment in the future. It was his idea. Chin up. That was some rather good fly. I'm confused. Thought she was mad at me. <laughs> Sorry about that business with Kagawa, but you have to admit those views were worth it. Yep. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at it? home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spint, which is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. I guess I'll still be walking. If I could afford the new bright spark broom at Spintwitches, I'd be on it now. My sister had to run I've out not forgotten it, about our library venture. How did you I fare? If you're keen for some glare. illicit spell she practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Spintwitches is open in Hogsmeade. All the latest brooms I hear. Not that I need one. The broom I have at home is the latest model. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor as soon as you can. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. I do like Madame Kagawa. She's been tutoring me after class. 
Although she is very strict when it comes to broom safety. I wish I could afford my own broom. Instead of using my brother's hand-me-downs. Sucks to be you, bro. Time soon. Madam Kagawa, about what happened in class. No need to discuss it further. Losing points for Hufflepuff should serve as a deterrent against future escapades. Now. Professor Weasley has asked that I teach you a few additional spells, so please keep an eye out for an owl from me. You're also welcome to drop by any time with questions. Aimed right at my nose, he did. What are you I doing, bro? Lucky he didn't hit you. Oh well, he wouldn't, would he? Ah, oh. Transylvanian tackle. Don't see that Wait. much. Wait. I should think not. Who's this guy playing catch with? Oh. I thought I was about to lose my head. Yes, it's the kind of what? <laughs> the first time someone bro. What's going on? <laughs> it's broken. What are you up to now? I'm gonna go to Hogsmeade and buy a broom. Probably should have just teleported. <laughs> there are poachers nearby. You can feed a beast, or it can feed you. I prefer the latter. Rock Burrow's famous for someone having a pet. Surprise. Is it you, Oh, shut up. Oh, this. Oh, no. Oh, I switch. I switch. Billy Wings with more sting. Say your heart is Oh, shut Real quick, don't go down easy. Too slow. Oh, turn Sleep a bit easier now. Oh, what are these? Here. What? Revelio. Who's that? Oh, he's up there. Did I get him? Akio. No. Eh, might as well kill him. Oh. Unidentified face item. What is that? Revelio. Hogsmeade is a lot farther than I thought it was gonna be. Holy crap. This place has seen better days. What's in here? A barrel. Accio. Accio. What's up with that barrel? What? Oh. I'm off to get my broom. Me broom. This is the thing with open worlds. I always like collect everything I see and become a hoarder. I don't know that if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Sometimes it's a good thing because like now you have like an endless supply of materials. I think I went the wrong way. Pretty sure it's this way. Oh, what is it this way? Oh no, am I lost? Oh, I remember this. Revelio. Yeah, it's this way. Oh. Yeah. Wait, is it? I don't remember this gate. Oh my god, I think I'm lost. Uh, yeah. I went the wrong way. I mean, I could go from here to there. Oh no, where am I? Where am I? Oh. I thought I was a bad guy. Good day to you, sir. Oh man, I think I'm lost. I'm actually lost. I mean, I could teleport, but walking is more fun. <laughs> Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Take up herbology if it didn't involve so much 
Is this the place? Ah, new face. Wonderful. I'm here to buy your most expensive broom. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got yep. a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close spent witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals are overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the U one's darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. I'll have a look, thank you. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Ooh. All are cheap. 600? Oh, like 7,000 right now. I thought it would cost at least like 5,000 coins or something. That item is of no. the highest quality. Ember Dash Broom. Uh, I don't really like this one. That item is of the highest quality. Oh, there's like a lantern at the front. But that this item one. is of the highest quality. Eh. Well, all of them have lanterns. I don't know. Never mind. Okay, this is. That item is of the highest Obviously, quality. I'm gonna choose this one. It's the nicest one. It's either this. That item is of the highest quality. Or this. This. Or this. This one. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Got a lot of junk. I don't know what this is. Pretty sure I just gained back the money I spent. Here's another one. What the? Oh, this one's sick. This one looks cool. Thanks for stopping by. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! <laughs> Knew I was right about you. Upgrades. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, broom flight. another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match, Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did. 
but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the Cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Okay, so there are certain places where I can't fly. Oh, there's a side quest over here. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Do I have to brew it myself? I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully, she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Can I use this? Nope. How do I use my broom? L, B, then B. Oh, okay. Woo -hoo -hoo. This is cool. Oh, there's a meter. There's a yellow meter. Oh, was that a hippogriff? Oh, oh, it's hostile. No way, it's chasing me. Wait, what? Is it hostile? No, it's not. Oof. Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. I haven't been here yet. Delivery. Madam Luang, I have a delivery from J. Pippin's potions. <laughs> Sent a child to do his work for him, did he? Always cutting corners and taking the easy way out. Did he have you brew them for him as well? Doesn't matter. You could probably do it better than he can anyway. Why do you keep ordering from him if you think the quality to be inferior? It would seem I have more and more customers who are trying to stay out of sight. I'm not one to judge. You can simply imagine the stress I'm under to deliver quality products. Unlike some vendors, I strive to keep my customers satisfied. Here are the potions you requested. You think it's so simple? I know Pippin is always trying to cheat his customers. Cutting corners to save some galleons for himself at the expense of quality. You'll not be getting a canut out of me until you prove the potion works. Drink it. You're gonna make me drink it? I'm not gonna drink it, I ain't stupid. <laughs> Actually, why not? Seems simple enough. <laughs> I'll do it. I should think so. I don't like this girl. How do I drink it? It works. What? That doesn't even last that long. Or is it because I rolled? It seems to have worked. Hmm. Well, I suppose that will do. 
If the demand for potions is as high as you say, have you considered being easier to work with? Perhaps combining your recipes and skills? Ha! <laughs> Not a chance. That ne'er-do-well had his shop handed to him. The rest of us had to make our own way. I'll not give him the benefit of my hard work and gumption. If he fails on his own, so be it. You mentioned that more and more customers are trying to stay out of sight. Why? Well, I can't speak for all of them, but certainly my Ashwinder customers have their reasons. If I were you, I'd forget I heard that. Very well. I shall let Mr. Pippin know I delivered the potions as requested. You do that. Hogsmeade, here I come. Gonna make this delivery real quick. Here's another cat. Are there no dogs in this game? I haven't seen one yet. Come on in. Healing potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I delivered the potions to Fatima Luang. Very good. And uh, did she cause you any trouble? I can see why you didn't want to go. She was quite cantankerous. I do truly appreciate your help. And at least it's done with. It was a pleasure doing business with you, Mr. Pippin. Likewise. <laughs> Worth every bit of that delivery fee to have someone capable deal with that witch. Best of luck with your potions, Mr. Pippin. Do take care. All that for a hat. Bro. <laughs> I'll do this flight test real quick. Then I'll be done. Are there mounts in this game? No way. I knew there was flying mounts, but I didn't know there was ground mounts too. That's cool. Can I fly? Let's go. Flying is so much easier. Once I put upgrades on this broom, I'll be zooming. How high can I go? Cloud level? What? That's it? Oh, that sucks. I wanted to fly through the clouds. Maybe they'll increase it later on. I don't know. Oh, sick. Imagine if this game actually had Quidditch. That would be so fun. I thought the arena would be like bigger though. Smooth. Hey you, Hufflepuff. Amelda Rays? Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique. And that was the end of that. She's a Slytherin. Nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. Why are you so triggered? <laughs> you sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you. Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You're not even Slytherin. Could be a useless squib for all I know. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Hufflepuff. Okay, let's go. Can you tell me more about these courses? St stalling, fifth year. <laughs> Fine, I'll humor you. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, 
It was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Let's see what you've got. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. First try. Here we go. Zoom. Oh, this is easy. This is rather fun. Oh, what are these? What are these? Oh, I missed it. <laughs> now that's more like it. Oh, this is kind of hard. Loki. Oh. There we go. There we go. Success. There we go. I just had to get the momentum. Where is she? Excellent. Oh. How long is this course? Oh, I missed it. No. Let's go. Oh. Oh no. I'm slowing down. <laughs> now that's more like it. That was kind of intense. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Uh, you were like an hour behind you me. Won. <laughs> Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Uh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. I don't need your respect. Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. A well flick. done an errand for Albie Weeks. That was fun. I suspect Mr. Weeks will be glad to hear how I fared. Let's go see him. I don't think I'll get tired of this. I wish it was a bit faster though. Look at that view. Oh. Oh, I can't enter while mounted. That sucks. But it's fine. I can walk. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. This oh, one? you're back! We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Wheats, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, how was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Mm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Mm, drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. The, even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my work's had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways, worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight, nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. 
I have a friend in Rome runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm, how to address the issue of altitude as it relates to speed? Hmm? I wonder how long it's gonna take. 